So that's it. We now have so many of our questions answered as to who the Ravens were going to draft, what positions they were going to take and where. It's all done now. The draft has come and gone. Is this Ravens team a complete team now? No, they are a lot more complete than they were just a few days ago, but they still certainly have work to do in some areas a lot more than others. But let's see how they address it. But before we see how they take care of their remaining issues, we got some questions to answer. Yeah, this feels like a dream. Team Keep It Clean, welcome to the first post-draft episode of Questions from Subs. We are already in the month of May, Whew. and y'all started off with a bang. Trust me, we got some fire coming up. But what Questions from Subs is, is the series where you can ask me any NFL question and you answer in the video just like this. For the patrons, for the Team Keep It Clean patrons, and if you want to become a Team Keep It Clean patron, you can go to patreon.com slash engravenvids, and if you don't, don't feel pressured or bad or anything it's okay but for the patrons you can send your questions directly on patreon for everybody else who's not a team keep it clean patron you can send it to that team keep it clean at gmail.com thank you all for all the questions that y'all sent because we got a lot let's get into it first question came from Heidi and appreciate you being a patron he said what's up engraving I'm writing this as I'm watching your live draft stream uh we just and shout out to everybody that was there for the live stream we had a lot of fun for the first night we could not do it for day two and day three it was just oof, and we were super tired anyway but we had fun uh we just traded Hollywood to Arizona so this was fresh when it happened we just traded Hollywood to Arizona, and I am at a loss of words. I'm going to make my question short and sweet. How do you think this will impact Lamar Jackson signing with us? Much love to you and Team Keep It Clean. We'll get through this together, my guy. And just like Hollywood is with the Ravens, sadly, <laughs> I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, this one this one messed me up, man. Because y'all know I, I got a lot of love for Hollywood, man. Um, but and like I said, I, I didn't like it, but I understood why they did it. Hollywood wanted out. He wanted out. And um, I was just telling some people yesterday, it seems like, like with the Ravens, uh, they are the new um, NBA of the NFL. Because, you know, NBA, the players, they got control over there. They got control. If they want to leave, boom, they get traded. Usually with NFL, a lot of players, they, if they want to leave, they don't necessarily get traded, man. A lot of them don't. But with the Ravens, oh, yeah, they do. Hayden Hurst, hey, I'm not getting the playing time that I wanted to get. I'm, nah, I'm not a big enough part of the offense. I want to be traded. Ravens said, okay, we'll trade you. We, we got you, Hayden. Orlando Brown, I'm a left tackle. I want to be traded. Uh, okay, Orlando Brown, we, we, we got you. Hollywood Brown, I don't like this system. I want to be traded. Ravens, oh, okay, okay, we got you. Ravens, they, they should have been acknowledging some trade requests, boy. But anyway, um, how will this impact Lamar Jackson? Well, um, I'm sure he didn't like the move, but he also understands the move um and hollywood he wanted out and the ravens they were probably like at a crossroads with him on how they felt about him um and it just is a situation to where they it makes lamar jackson's job harder um it can also make lamar jackson's job it can make him better at his job it, and, and it's so tricky um because you take away a big weapon for Lamar. Not big in height or anything, but you, you take away a big downfield threat uh, for Lamar. You take away his, his speedster at wide receiver. Um, so you have, his, his job has gotten harder. But at the same time, this can help open up Lamar Jackson's game to where he spreads the ball around and, and builds chemistry with other guys that much more. Uh, with, like we've been seeing this offseason with a Rashad Bateman, with a Devin DuVernay, uh, Benjamin Victor, um, and we'll see it with Tylen Wallace soon enough, I'm sure, too. Um, and But it, but how will it impact the, the contract talks? Um, I, it, it depends on what the Ravens do next, in my opinion. 
I think all of this depends on what the Ravens do next. And this is why I was so shocked. And I, I told you, the Ravens hit, hit me with a swerve in this draft because they just didn't do it. They didn't. And I, I was for sure that they were going to address wide receiver, especially I, I was for sure. Like I said, in the first three rounds, I was for sure for certain that the Ravens were going to address wide receiver in the draft in the first three rounds. And that was before Hollywood got traded. But then after he got traded, I'm like, oh, yeah, it's definitely happening now. It's definitely happening now. And first round went by, and after they traded Hollywood, they got Linda Bowman. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. So, so all right, second round, the second, second, second round, they got it. Second round came, they got uh, David Ajabo. I was like, oh, okay, okay, all right. Third round, it's this on the way. It never happened. It never happened. And there were guys sitting there on the board. Uh, they, they passed on pickings. I guess they weren't feeling him like a lot of us were feeling him, at least at the spot. Uh, they passed, well, the whole NFL passed on uh, Justin Ross. I guess the medical concerns really got him. And I, I hadn't known about his medical concerns until somebody brought him up to me. We could talk about those later. But um, it, 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 to me, whew, it's, it's a scary situation right now. But I, I just, I'm hoping, and I know a lot of other people are hoping too, after we watch how the Ravens moved in the draft, it's like they have to have something else planned as far as adding a significant wide receiver something that i was explaining um in a spaces yesterday in a twitter spaces yesterday i asked the question would you buy furniture if you didn't even know you were going to have an apartment next week would you buy furniture for if you didn't even know that you were going to have a place to put it in next week so I asked him, everybody said, no, no, I wouldn't do that. No, of course not. Why would I do that? And I said, this could be the Ravens thinking when it comes to the Lamar Jackson situation, because this could be what could possibly be holding them back from investing in a significant wide receiver. No, we done talked about the Debo's and the DK's and the, uh, the whoever else. We had all the conversations about it and we would love it. We would love, oh, you, oh, I would love it. I know some people, no, 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 I don't want it. I would love it. Y'all already know how I'm with the wide receivers. But um, I, I wonder if the Ravens thinking is that, man, we don't know what the situation is with Lamar Jackson. Or they may already have their plans with Lamar Jackson. And who knows what that could be. I know they keep saying, oh, yeah, we want to pay him, we want to pay him, we want to pay him. Um, but he don't want to pay. He don't want to get paid right now. He he want to work this year. He want to play football this year, and that's all you want to focus on. All right, cool. But so nothing is set in stone. Either way, nothing is set in stone for Lamar Jackson signing with the Ravens. Nothing is set in stone for Lamar Jackson not resigning with the Ravens. So it could still literally go either way. It could go either way, and that is something when you really think about it. Because I know a lot of Ravens fans, they do not want to think about that. They do not want to think about the possibility of a Baltimore Ravens team without a Lamar Jackson. But it is a real possibility that you got to think about. You have to. Because nothing is set in stone. Nothing. But anyway, back to buying, um, buying furniture for a house that you don't even know you're going to have yet. It could be the same thing. So for Ravens, I wonder if they're thinking like, oh, no, we don't want to trade for uh, Debo Samuel. We don't want to trade for a DK Metcalf because we don't even know if Lamar Jackson is going to stay with us. So why would we invest significant future draft capital for one of those receivers and possibly significant money, too, if they ended up signing those receivers to extensions? Why would we do that? Well, just like Eagles with A.J. Brown. Eagles traded for A.J. Brown, boom, signed him to a contract extension right then and there. So that's kind of set the, the precedent. That, that, that set the standard for trading for one of those receivers who are in the last year of their deal. That set the standard for it. Hollywood signed with, I mean, the, traded, traded for with the Ravens for, uh, for the Cardinals, and boom, they picked up his fifth-year option. So he got that. So it's like, and we've seen with Devontae Adams, traded for, boom, highest paid NFL wide receiver. Tyreek, traded for, boom, got his money too. So these receivers are getting traded for, and they getting their bread just like that. Just like that. So Ravens may be looking at it like that, like, man, if we trade for one of these receivers, we got to pay one of these receivers, and we don't even know what's going to happen with our quarterback long term right now. 
So that may shy them away from getting one of these big time receivers or trading for one of these big time receivers. So I, I, I just wonder if that's the way that they're thinking, because I could see that. I could see that. And I, I could I could understand that now. I, I would hope that and that's a big hope. But I would hope that it wouldn't shy them away from getting a, a receiver of some significance and adding him to the Ravens offense. Um, but because, again, you, you should want to do everything that you possibly can to get that house. You should want to do everything that you possibly can, can to get that place so you can get some furniture and put it in there. But so, so if you can get a, a player, get some significant weapons for Lamar, and I know they, they did get a couple more tight ends. So it's going to be like 80 tight ends on the field at one time. They got another running back. So they're going to have like four or five running backs on the field at one time. Um, but yeah, they, they, so but at wide receiver, just getting him some more there, uh, it could help go a long way. And that could make him staying with the Ravens a lot more attractive. Now, I know another thing, and you know, Lamar won't say it. I mean, it seemed like he kind of hinted to it in, was it the last presser that he did when they asked him about Greg Roman? He's like, Greg Roman, cool, but he said, that's, that's, that's up to them guys upstairs. And when he said that, I was like, ooh, that ain't sound like you're a big fan, but. And I wonder if, um, if that would hold him back. Knowing that Greg Roman is here still, I, I wonder if that would um like not even dissuade Lamar not to sign, not to resign with the Ravens, but just keep him from doing it while Greg Roman is here. And I, with Greg Roman, I um I do not think that he can get the best out of Lamar Jackson. I think he he can get some good out of Lamar for sure. But I don't think he can get the best out of Lamar Jackson. Like I always say, with Greg Roman, he was an amazing introductory offensive coordinator for Lamar Jackson. And we have seen some growth from Lamar for sure. But it just still feels like the Ravens have these training wheels on their quarterback. And it feels like they've had these training wheels on their quarterback for years. Is Lamar perfect? No, 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 no. By no means he is not. He still got plenty of stuff that he got to work on for sure. But is this offense perfect for him? No, 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 no. It's definitely not. This offense still got a lot of stuff it got to work on for sure. And I, I do not feel like this offense, it, it, it's weird because this offense challenges Lamar because it, I feel like sometimes it can make stuff harder. Uh, and they just like, I feel like a lot of times they just overthink stuff. They overthink situations. Um, and they they rely on his athleticism to, to to sort of save them. They rely on Lamar Jackson's athleticism to save them. And Lamar Jackson, he don't even want to rely on his own athleticism to save him. He wants to use his arm more. He's he said it plenty of time. He don't be feeling like running the ball. He'll run, of course. He'll still get his, but he don't be feeling like running the ball. That's why it can be so frustrating when we watch Lamar Jackson play and we know what he can do. And a lot of us are like, man, hey, throw the ball, throw the ball, throw it, throw it. Oh, no, 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 no. Excuse me. On them plays where, where we talk about he's holding on to the ball forever. We like, hey, take off, take off, take off. And he's waiting. He's waiting. He's waiting. He's evading the defender. Waiting, 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 wait, because he's trying to throw the ball. He ain't trying to run. He ain't trying to run. And. I just, we, we see that a lot. So I wonder if Greg Roman still being with the Ravens will be another part of Lamar Jackson's contract issues, so to speak. The reason why he doesn't uh, want to re-sign yet. And another thing, too, I wonder, I wonder if whatever the Ravens offered him, because they, they had them conversations about the contract a little bit here and there, but I wonder if whatever the Ravens offered him, it was like, what like okay yeah we don't even need to talk contract if that's where y'all starting at we don't even need to talk we don't even need to talk or even if what they offered him is still significant i mean whatever it's going to be it's going to be significant but he could look at that and like oh that's 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 it okay cool you know what watch this here i'm gonna show you i'm gonna show you 
I'm gonna show you what I'm, I got you. I'm betting on myself. That 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 contract is cool. But mm, no, mm, I, watch this. Watch it. Watch. So it it could be just several reasons um, for this this holdup uh, with this contract right now. Um, but back to the original question: How Hollywood impacts um, Lamar Jackson and his the contract talks with him and the Ravens? I just think that. Uh, whew, I, I just think that um, it it all just depends on how the Ravens move now. Everything depends on what the Ravens follow up plan is gonna be. I know so many Ravens fans. <laughs> well, here comes Julio, and that would be very Raven esque. Uh, but it's. I was about to say, it seems like Eric DeCosta has been shying away from signing those older wide receivers. Um, but he signed Sammy Watkins. He's not older, but he's very banged up. And he had a history of being banged up. And he ended up getting banged up with the Ravens, too. Uh, he did bring in Des Bryant, to the year prior. And we know how that went. Um, so, I don't know, man. Uh, yeah, like, but Julio would be very Raven-esque. Uh, Jarvis Landry, he would be, too, but... Will Fuller is another name um, to, to look out for uh, as a speedster, um, downfield threat. Uh, he's had his injury issues, though, but I don't know. I just I don't know what the Ravens are going to do. I don't know. Because, again, when I think, all right, yeah, they oh, they got to have a plan in place for a trade, for something. Oh, yeah, for sure. But, again, they don't since they don't know what's going to happen with Lamar. That could hinder them from doing that. That could be like, all right, that could make them shy away from doing something like that. So, again, it is something that's uh, very concerning. And, and like I've seen many people post, uh, it's, it is okay and it is realistic to say the Ravens had a good draft. They did. They had a good draft. And you kept hearing the word steal all draft. All draft long for the Ravens. You kept hearing steal, steal, steal. Wow, that guy was a steal. I can't believe they got him. I can't believe he was available. I can't believe the Ravens got him. Boom. Still, still, still. But it's okay to say that they had a good draft, but there's still huge concerns for the Ravens at wide receiver. Shout out to Greg.